Hello everyone, we're back with Gunsmith Part 7, this time on modding an M4, and the sticking point about this one is the 60 round extended mag. These are hard to get hold of early, and so I'm going to use the 100 rounder in my build here today so that everybody can do it. Let's move over to the flea market, and we can see that there are a bunch of M4s here. Mechanic sells one for 70k, that's the base that we're going to look at. There's one on Peacekeeper, which is three CPUs and one CPU fan, which is sometimes pretty good. But let's start with the mechanic base one to begin with. So on this, the first thing we're going to do is change the upper. We're going to change it to the TX-15. This is normally pretty cheap on the fleet because no one really likes it. Then we're going to put the 370 mil barrel back on the gun. After this, you're going to buy a 100 rounder from the flea market. Then we're going to apply the Wyndham RG block, this thing, to the barrel. Next, from Mechanic 2, we're going to replace the carbine buffer tube entirely with the M7A1 PDW stock. Now, we're going to change the pistol grip over to the MIAD from Peacekeeper, and we're also going to change the AR-15 charging handle to the MASP. This is also from Peacekeeper. After this, we're going to put on the same sight as we did for the last gunsmith, because it gets to the sighting requirement, the Romeo 7. In terms of handguards, we are going to attach this one, the MOE SL. This one is the Magpul MOE SL carbine length M lock handguard. And onto that, we put the 4.1 inch rail. And on top of that, we're going to use the Knight's Armament vertical foregrip. For muzzles, this time around, we're going to use the War Comp because this is accessible on Skier and is not sold out. And on top of that, we're going to use the Mini Monster. Make sure you use the SOCOM 556 Mini Monster. Buy this from the fleet. Now we're just missing one ergonomics, so we're going to put on the Chris Defiance low profile flip up front sight. You can really use anything if you want. If you can't get access to the Knight's Armament vertical foregrip, just put anything else on and do a combination of the Defiance rear sight or something like one of these M lock cantilever mounts because these give plus one as well. So there's one, two, three ergo to spare here if you can't get access to the VFG. So let's go and assemble this guy, make sure it's actually the right one, and we'll go back to our character. We can see this is turn inable, and we will go over to mechanic and hand it in. Ready for Gunsmith Part 8. 